What up, people? Coach V, New Breed Boxing. Yin and Yang, and how its philosophy can be implemented into your boxing training, tactics, and strategy. So a lot of people associate Yin and Yang with the martial arts and don't realize boxing is also a martial art. In fact, one of the oldest. So with that being said, it's only right that we, you know, we, we find a way to implement this into our boxing, right? So a lot of people don't realize also when you're involved in a, a fight, say, you know, whether it's boxing, MMA, or whatever, you're involved in yin and yang on multiple levels. For example, you're in the ring, you're going to be out the ring. Red corner, blue corner. Somebody's got to win, somebody's got to lose. Somebody's conscious, somebody might be unconscious. And it goes on and on. And I'm excluding draws because those are always controversial. Even if it's one degree of separation, somebody's always going to be yin or yang. So, how can it be applied? When you look at the yin and yang swirl with the two dots, it's four dimensions, right? Quick breakdown. Double that. Make it go left and right intermittently. It's up to you to use it like a dial to switch it left and right when necessary. Switching clockwise, counterclockwise, however you you know however you want to you know depict it. So, when you're looking at your opponent, right? One guy's on the outside, inside fighter, outside fighter. Offense, defense, leading, countering. Once you implement implement left high, right left, low high, high low, into those other aspects, the person with the most complete comprehension of this and that applies it under pressure and in action will have the biggest advantage. And I'm not talking, like I said, I'm not talking about beginners. This is more for intermediate and advanced guys. When you're dealing with beginners, you can just smash somebody with, with straight athleticism. When you're dealing with more advanced people, you're going to need a little bit more than that to bring to the table. So this is where you're going to benefit. You see the openings. Some openings are legitimate. Some are traps. You probing in and out. You got to learn how to gauge the line in the sand, the imaginary line in the sand, because the target's going to dictate the weapon, right? If you see somebody's wide open on the lead side of their face for a cross, boom. You, you, you start testing the waters with your foot feints, right? If you see an opening that's legitimate, you can go straight for it. If you see, and that's yin, the opening, and the actual action of catching that opening is yang. Then the jab, you want to use the jab as kind of like the action, the inter, you know, the, the, the intermittent switching from left to right. Because you can turn a jab into a, you know, just a, a range from a range finder into a damaging punch. And that's going to be the, the biggest tool, the footwork and the jab. I always say that. The power shots are going to be kind of like the, 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 the heavy yang. That's going to really be, hopefully, the game changer that shuts down their offense. Okay? And when you see an opening... You start probing the jab or you start fainting. That's a good way to kind of intermittently, without over committing, switch from yin to yang to kind of test the waters, okay? So feints and jabs and footwork are going to be kind of like the middle ground. Then once you see an opening, if you go for the opening and they're on point, then you got to switch your tactics. So what you're going to do, if you want to hit them high on the left side of their face, fake low to the right side of their body. That's one option. I mean, there's so many variables. I'm just giving you, you know, some small examples. But basically, if you go for the opposite shot, mix it up with the footwork, the foot feints, the jab, stay moving, keep your head moving off the line, and you go for the movement, and they're on top of it, but you see the opening again, the next time you see that opening, go for the total opposite move and halfway through that move, then throw the shot. That's just one of a million examples. As you're in the ring, you know, playing around and kind of experimenting, you'll start to get a better comprehension of what works for you. But it's all yin and yang. And again, the person that has the best understanding of that is going to have the most distinct advantage. So have some fun with it. Start experimenting with the high, low, low, high, left, right, right, left. Tell me how it works. Let me know in your next sparring session. If it worked for you, put that in the comment section. Also want to say thank you because we reached 1.5 million views last night went from 960,000 to 1.5 overnight so that's great 11,000 something subscribers now we're moving along making that progress so like 
dislike, keep that yin and yang balance. I don't care what it is. Show me some kind of action. Share, subscribe, comment. Go check out my Instagram, coach.v underscore. Till the next time, we up out of here. Ow.